Hello everyone, hope you all are doing great and the topic of today's video is responsive screen size on Wix website, creating responsive website on Wix. So here we are on Wix.com, this is our dashboard and you'll come to the same page if you will log in or create an account. So from this page here we can easily interact with, with an existing websites we already have so we can rename, delete, duplicate and do some other stuff. So in order to show you all the process, I'm going to create website totally from scratch. We're going to discover all the features about Wix responsive uh, screen size. And um, if you click on create a new site right up here, we'll come to page where we need to choose some categories we are going to interact with. In my case, I'm going to skip all these tabs in the right bottom corner because um, the idea of today's video is just to show you the process of the, the category is not that important. So uh, when everything is done, we can just simply go to our website dashboard, but I honestly prefer to begin with a template so we can customize a designer made template. I'm going to click on it right up here and we'll come to the next page. From this page, we can uh, easily discover a lot of different templates we can easily use. But firstly, I wanted to show you the blank templates. Not everyone user of uh, Wix knows this feature that we can easily use the structure of the website, which is without content. So we can find uh, like eight or even nine if you're going to uh, use start from scratch uh, template. We have a lot of uh, free um, of content templates. So we can easily use, for example, gallery layout, strip header layout, one page layout. It depends on your choice. But I wanted to show you that we, for example, if you want to use like portfolio template, if you'll click on view, we can easily switch between uh, different devices, between different types of devices, for example, for uh, on uh, like uh, desktop, on mobile. And as you can see, this uh, template is totally responsive. So the content is like connected uh, to the size of the screen and it's like um, changes according to the uh, ratio of the screen, which is pretty cool. And if you're going to discover the all templates area, there are a lot of templates, basically tons of different templates. We can also discover that if you view this, we can find this stuff, which is like um, also responsive. So we can easily use this um, website even on on devices like a MacBook, a laptop, uh, or we can use like iPhones, Androids, and the information will be still the same, but we have some tricks uh, which are not that easy to understand. So we can, for example, view something on our laptop and we won't be able to find this contact uh, content on our like uh, mobile phone. So if you'll come to uh, this, um, to the page with our website, uh, we can easily find a lot of stuff. So for example, let's try to use this stuff here. If you click on edit, we'll come to our editor and now we need only to wait for a little. And if you want to understand how does it work, how, why don't we see some details on our mobile? Uh, we need to uh, come here and basically if we'll switch to a mobile phone, we can view how will it look like. And basically if we'll switch back to uh, the desktop, now we can interact with some stuff here. And as you can see, we have some options of how can we hide some content for the mobile phone. So if we'll come here, we can easily uh, use this stuff so we can hide section from mobile. So it's um, it depends on your choices of how can we uh, how should the website look like for the customers from the mobile maybe they won't be interested in contact information in some stuff here so we can easily hide a section from mobile but definitely um, on all on every single template, there is a thing that um, every page is visible while we are editing it on mobile or sometimes we can find this stuff which is hidden on mobile in the, if we'll switch to mobile view and we'll go to hidden area, we can find the, the, the column two was hidden as for mobile. So now we can click on show and as you can see, it has appeared. So now we can try to hide it. So if you'll we'll show, and if you'll hide, we can find that it's only like this uh, white 
part of the screen appeared so maybe it's even better uh, when if what if it was hidden as for us and also we have a strip somewhere where we can hide it so if we'll hide we'll just uh, make it less size for this section here so as for the templates it's like uh, really important is that we can easily you know all the templates are organized in a good way but if you're going to customize them we can simply interact with details so for example we can hide all this section if it's necessary so it will appear right up here we can uh, click on this icon click on this image here and we can hide this element as for the basically uh, for the mobile view but if we'll switch back to desktop we'll still be able to find it if we'll scroll down scroll down it should be somewhere here yes as you can see now we can still find it but if we'll switch to mobile it will be automatically hidden as for us and it depends on the your purposes if it's necessary as for the customer to see this text to see this icon to see this column is, is it makes easier for the customer to interact without this uh, element or maybe it's hard to perform all this stuff or maybe the interface looks not that good as for the as it should be so we can hide some elements so as for me uh, it's pretty cool that we have this option but you need to understand that we can use it only if we're going to switch to mobile phone and if you like try to customize something we can easily click and then just hide some sections hide some elements so it depends on your purposes on your choices and this is the way of how can we uh, hide di different elements and make the screen responsive to the side uh, but still if you'll come back to templates you need to understand that every single uh, element here is like totally responsive and maybe sometimes people don't see any information cause they kind of don't have the ability basically to see it on the mobile it was hidden on the wix builder and the way of how can we fix it is just to switch to mobile phone go to hidden on mobile and then just show 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 so now uh, the view on the desktop and on the mobile are the same we see the same element no nothing is hidden and so on if you want to know how can we design more detailed um, templates how can we interact how can we customize you can try to find my other templates these uh, the idea of this tutorial is to show you how can we separate like mobile view and uh, the view from desktop hope this video helped you out if it is please leave a like if you have any questions please write them in the comments below i try to answer for all of them but that's all for today's video hope it was useful i wish you a very good day goodbye